Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros, and today we have a $1,300 gaming PC. And yeah, this is what we like to do here on YouTube. We like to make PC build guides, and with graphics card prices dropping, we have a build guide we'd actually do for you at a little over $1,000 that has a lot of performance, a lot of upgradability, oh, and yes, RGB. But before we dive into this PC build, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video was made possible by Accelerate Gaming Power by PNY and their family of products, like their Rev RGB memory that comes in kits up to 32 gigabytes and is built on high quality ICs, making it great for easy overclocking. They also have powerful Gen 4 SSDs like the CS3140 with 7500 megabytes per second read and 6850 megabytes per second write, and capacities of up to four terabytes. Lastly, they also have awesome RTX graphics cards like this RTX 3060 Reveal Epic X with its two fan design and super nice RGB, making it an awesome option for your next gaming PC build. Check the link down below to learn more, and special thanks again to Accelerate Gaming, powered by PNY, for bringing you this ad. So this PC is composed of all new parts, something pretty similar to what we'd probably build at our PC selling business, PCBros.tech, but yeah, really, really just nicely compatible build. Everything goes together well. There's not any major bottlenecking because, you know, here at the Toasty Bros, we play a lot of video games and we definitely make sure that we're not going way too high end on the CPU or GPU when it comes to gaming. And hey, this bad boy will be able to stream easily as well. So let's go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this beautiful gaming PC build. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Ryzen and five. 5600X. This is a six core 12 threaded processor that has a really good base and boost frequency. AMD Ryzen has brought some new stuff to the table. We have the non X variant, which is the same exact CPU, just a very, very slightly down clock. And then there's the 5500, a kind of similar deal, just a down clock version. But yeah, there's a lot of options in the market right now. So just see what fits the budget. I know this one we got for a pretty good price. Uh, you know, they used to be $300. They've definitely came down from that. There's even the 5600G, which performs one to 2% less than this one. So I think that's gone down to like one. 70. So you got a lot of options with Ryzen right now. And to cool that Ryzen CPU, because it does come with a stock cooler, and honestly, Ryzen's always been known to be pretty well with stock coolers. They're made by Cooler Master, but we're going for a slight upgrade here. We have this deep cool AK400 white. When I say slight upgrade, I should say it's a pretty decent upgrade because these are overclockable technically. And if you want to do overclocking, you really can't do that with a stock cooler. These are great for the base frequencies and the boost, but once you get into overclocking, you need at least one of these 120 mil air coolers like this. And to house that CPU, we have this Asus Prime B. 550 plus and this is a fairly mid-range b550 because we have four ram slots we have two four pins for the cpu in case you want to go with like a ryzen 7 or even a ryzen 9 you could do and then also if you notice here we have these big heat sinks covering the vrms and the mosfets so that's another really nice added feature um, so definitely an upgradable board and on top of that it's full size so it's going to fit in our case really well because that is something we like to do here is try to make sure that we fit all the components nicely and for the ram we have this pny accelerate 32 gig kit at 30 600 megahertz is 32 gigs enough it's more than enough um, really 16 would be enough and i think originally we allocated for 16 but you know pny being nice people sent us a 32 gig kit and it really didn't bump the price up that much so honestly it kind of makes sense and speaking of that we also originally had a gen 3 drive plan but we also got this gen 4 drive and surprisingly it didn't add much to the cost at all we were a little bit worried at first that it might screw up the budget really i mean gen 4 32 gig 3600 megahertz rgb dual channel and i mean look at these speeds 7556 50. That's some crazy Gen 4 speed. So I can't really be upset. One thing to keep in mind though is if you do want to go down to like a 5600G or something like that, you do lose Gen 4 support. So this drive would still work, but it would run in Gen 3 so you wouldn't get the super fast speeds. Now look at this, guys. We have an RTX 3060 that I bought new Amazon Prime shipping. Uh -oh. God, I couldn't. I didn't think this day would actually come up, but you just stole it. Graphics cards are coming down in price. The 3060 is fluctuating a lot though. Like I bought this thing at 499 and then it like went up to seven, but now back to 499 and on sale for 460. So it's like all over the place. So always check the links down below, but there are other options you can go with as well. Of course, if you wanna go with a Celery card, it'd be a good option. You can go with an RX 6600 from AMD as well. 6600 XT is always around 300 bucks. So you can go that route as well too. But uh, yeah, we wanted to go Nvidia because you know what? 3060 and uh, yeah, it's a very sought after card. And to power this bill, we have an EVGA 600 GD. Very standard power supply, 600 watts, 80 plus gold, no problems whatsoever. And we're going to be putting some sleeve cables on it because if you couldn't tell, we have a little bit of a theme going here. It's just kind of the standard black and white theme. So we got some black and white sleeve cables. It'll look really nice inside the case that we're going to be using, which is the H510 Flow, which is black and white. It all looks like it's going to work very well. Has airflow. It is a big upgrade over the H510 because it has holes right here. Woo, airflow. But what we're going to be adding to this case is some V-True fans. You can actually get white versions of these fans if you want to match a little 
little bit better, but we only have the black ones on hand for our PC selling business PC bros. You're gonna buy some awesome PCs from us, Toaster Bros 2 at checkout for 2% off. Yeah, we're gonna be using four of them. So you actually technically need like two packs or a four pack of fans to fill up the two up front and the two in the back, but links down below for everything. I think this is gonna be a really awesome build and I'm very excited to see how it turns out. Let's build it. It's time to play some Fortnite, and we are in no-build Fortnite, and we are running on epic view distance, everything else on low, DX12, and uh, 200 plus FPS so far. Uh, let's see how well that FPS maintains as we drop in and get to battling. Okay, FPS into the 200, still 255. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, I heard a lightsaber. Oh, hell no. Oh, mother, ah! Man, oh God. What is going on? Oh, we just went through the floor. What? What? I can't let that be how I die. Right. I'm chasing this guy. I realized this was not the Fortnite that I thought it was. <laughs> there you go. The hotness <laughs> just, it, it ruined my mind. The hotness just, it, it ruined my mind. Smell hot? No, it smells like chocolate. That's the scary part. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. Supposedly it's 9 million Scoville units. It translates to hot. Right, I'll take the littlest one. Oh, no way. Oh. Dude, how is it that high? <laughs> what the hell? Oh. oh, it's disgusting. Oh, my eyes. I can barely see what's going on. Oh, my God. I'm going to bite it. Not right now. <laughs> I'm gaming. <laughs> yeah, we only had one, one candy bar. Or, uh, what is this called? Ice cream. I can't even think right now. Would you eat the whole thing in one bite to end world hunger? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now playing Apex Legends and we are maxed the F out. Wait, all right, here we go. All settings are correct now. We're absolutely maxed out. 1080p, we're getting 160, 170 FPS. I know this monitor's not high refresh rate, it's only 60, so sadly I don't get that competitive gamer edge. Being able to keep over 60 is still really important. Man, man, take a drink of water. Did, did we just do a, like a 360 around each other? I've gotten, I've gotten too ballsy, too ballsy. Oh my okay. lord. I'm, I'm, I just, I clearly need to get in there. You're not giving your teammates much help with the... <laughs> with, with missing everything? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, Mozambique. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm gonna get die here. Oh man. I wish I could have hit more than just the first two shots. That probably would have helped us a lot. I can, I can tell these guys are new because my teammate really just used his invulnerability at the beginning right there. Only 17 because of his stupid Gibby shield. God, these guys are so useless. The oh, gameplay might not be good, but the PC is good. Let's go to the next, next game. game. All right, guys, we are now in God of War. Um, as you can see from the graphics, right? You're running high. You know what? For the fun night, we're just gonna go ultra. We're gonna see what ultra looks like. We're getting about 60 FPS. This game is very demanding. As you can see, the 3060 is at 99%, definitely maxed out. There is also a fancy feature called DLSS from NVIDIA, where you can actually get some free performance and run in ultra settings. But I wouldn't do that when you're running at 1080p. I would only do that if you wanna play at like 1440p or something like that. So, see, so yeah, I play bits and pieces of this game and then I forget how to actually play it. Uh, do I need to, have I done any damage? I don't think you have. I don't think I have, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well he's kind of on fire, so maybe you need to get him to walk into it. They give you tutorials on how to do this stuff. Oh, I remember why. I need to have him shoot it, and then stop. So there you go. Oh my God, am I gonna die? It is getting very hairy. Ah! Almost got it. Oh my God, I feel like I fought a boss or something, but that was like, that was like normal. nothing, but 
Yeah, there's your gameplay. God of War, 60 FPS. You got DLSS if you're wanting to play 1440p. <laughs> the chocolate is coming back to me. It's like choking randomly. But hey, good thing we have 32 gigs of RAM. We're using about 12 right now. GPU is the bottom next upgrade in the future. But uh, yeah, God of War playable. One more game is Warzone. Jackson's going to win a gulag. So it's an ADP. Pretty much high settings, like high couple of mediums here and there. Yeah, this game uses a lot of RAM. I made that comment at the beginning about not needing a lot of RAM, but clearly uh, you can really utilize. Where did that guy go? Did I hear him? And I'm terrified, Matt. We're definitely ready to tussle now. Please. Wow, oh. that was oh. just so bad at TDU. <laughs> Oh man. Dude, that that metal bar, I, you would think some bullets would make it through, but no, not a single nope. one made it through there. I don't know, man. <laughs> Cause this game sucks. <laughs> Getting well over uh, 100 FPS most times though. Definitely looking pretty good. I'm just nosing a guy like just sitting in a corner and just waiting. He thinks you have something to lose. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, I have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, no, he's going to get me. Oh, man. That, was that guy was else. crouch walking. Look at him. Oh, and that, well, now, okay, now he was going crazy. This is definitely different. He never wins the gulag. I don't know what happens to him. But yeah, this PC, 1300 bucks, I think performs pretty well. Looks pretty nice well. also. Um, yeah, let's just wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we were pretty excited to benchmark this PC and actually see every game that we threw at it, we were actually able to run 1080p, pretty much ultra settings and maintain 60 FPS in every single game. Some alternative suggestions for the graphics card, if for some reason the 3060 is really expensive right now, is the RX 6600 or 6600 XT. Those normally stay around 300 to like 350 bucks, depending on which model you go for, and they will have equal performance minus some of the NVIDIA features. So check the links down below for all the parts featured in today's video, along with some other options if some stuff comes in and out of stock but very happy with this build for the money so as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other t youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one goodbye this PC right here will actually be for sale at our own PC selling business. PCBros.tech is where you buy awesome gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and other cool stuff. If you just don't feel like building your own PC, just buy from us. Use code ToastyBros2 on checkout to save 2%, not 4, 2%. Link down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.